Welcome to the future. You're looking at what's perhaps the most influential piece of architecture never built. Only a portion of Habitat 67 was ever completed. What stands in Montreal today is a brutalist icon that dramatically rethought the way we could live. What could have been is a sprawling mega-development that would have been home to thousands. Architectural visualization company Neoscape teamed up with Moshi Safdi to realize his vision in a stunningly detailed digital model powered by Unreal Engine. In the 1960s, Safdie asked, what if? Here, more than 50 years later, it's finally answered. It's safe to say that Safdie had grand ambitions when it came to Habitat 67. At just 23 years old, he submitted the designs he came up with as an architecture student to the Montreal World's Fair, and in a shock move, they decided to actually build them. Made from prefabricated modular units and assembled like Lego bricks, he wanted to create an entire city with shops, a hotel, office and commercial space, and houses. But when he was unable to secure the $45 million in funding needed to complete his vision, Safdie had to settle for less. On just $15 million, he built a scaled-down version. And so it's always been a question in my mind, what would it be like if we really had those $45 million? How would it have been as a community? Are there hidden issues there that we didn't realize? Would you feel overwhelmed by the scale or would it be intimate? I didn't know that. And so this massive exercise of digitizing it into artificial reality, so to speak, is very educational and informative for the architectural team. But Habitat left its mark. While it may have failed to spark the architectural revolution it sought to create, today's designers and engineers have nevertheless been inspired by Safdie's daring vision. When Epic came to us with the challenge of bringing Habitat 67 to life, we were super excited. It was a project that is important in the architectural world. Being able to give back to him as well as the architectural community, and at the same time partner with Epic and explore how to use Unreal Engine 5 to kind of support the traditional architectural visualization process was super exciting to us, so we, we, we jumped right in. Neoscape had worked with Safdie before and were approached by Epic Games to use their Unreal Engine software to bring the full vision for Habitat 67 to life. It was to be a Herculean task. Before any work could begin on modelling the unfinished aspects of Habitat, what was already built in Montreal had to be mapped. To do this, a drone equipped with a camera and LiDAR, a remote sensing method that uses light in the form of a pulsed laser to measure distances, flew pre-programmed flight paths around the building, taking 207 scans, while a second drone captured more than 4,000 traditional high-resolution images. These three datasets were then combined, aligned, and processed by Epic using their reality capture software. Not only did this help create an incredibly accurate and detailed model of Habitat 67 from which Neoscape could begin the next stage, it was also an opportunity to preserve the state of the structure as it is right now for historical reasons. The model they created would also allow students of architecture to explore habitats from anywhere in the world. Next, Safdie's studio reached out to McGill University, which holds all the original drawings and physical models in their Habitat 67 archive. They spent several months digitizing the design and further developing it, as this new model would need far more detail than the original designs. Special attention had to be paid to how the hotel would connect with parking, how the water features and gardens would function, and where the pedestrians and vehicle connections would be. What was designed back in 1961 was just a concept. Now, it had to be real. We're there every step of the way to kind of help them visualize that. We were really partnering with them on the process. It was a design that was worked on 50 plus years ago, and he was kind of the designer as well as the client in a way. It was daunting at first, but it was also really exciting to work on something that is identified as an iconic landmark in history. The scale of this project was perhaps the greatest challenge for Neoscape. Creating a project of this size, at this fidelity, with new tools required a different approach. They focused on using the tools and assets available to them from Epic Games without much customization. They wanted to prove that projects like this can be achieved by most professionals in the industry. Neoscape simply wouldn't have been able to create this model without Epic Games' Unreal Engine. 
I think the biggest thing is certainly not having to click a render button to see what, what you did, being able to do things on the fly. So we're able to really focus on the artistry as opposed to having to focus on how we can get there. We came up with a creative treatment that was very ambitious. We wanted to kind of really test the tool and kind of really push the envelope on what a traditional architectural visualization film feels like. We knew that there was going to be a lot of geometry. There's thousands of residential units, office buildings, hotel, school, museum. It's a mixed-use development. It's huge. It's an island. You see the city of Montreal in the distance. All of that is very difficult to render in real time in any other offline rendering package. That was really the technical boundary that existed, which was that friction that didn't allow the designer to do their job and didn't allow the artist to do their job well. On the surface, it may seem simple, but Unreal Engine is allowing with these new technologies to reduce that friction and make the process yeah, more enjoyable for everyone. The modular nature of Habitat 67 lent itself to easier and faster construction practices. This was true in the digital world as well. Elements of the design were, in effect, copy and pasted several times over, just like the modular units in real life. The model was imported into Unreal Engine using a data importer called Datasmith. The model was created using Rhino and 3ds Max with basic materials. To improve performance, the thousands of windows, vegetation, set dressing and vehicles were efficiently grouped to limit the number of draw calls in the engine. For lighting, a plugin called Sun and Sky was used, along with a custom volumetric cloud shader and atmospheric height fog. This was designed to be easy to adjust without requiring programming or game development experience. Trees, plants and set dressing were selected to be diverse but not overwhelming, and a discrete collection was used throughout the scene to achieve a realistic look without compromising performance. Traditional architectural visualization processes are slow and can be frustrating for the designer and artists, as making adjustments during the production process is not trivial. Unreal Engine 5 helps reduce this friction by allowing the artist and designer to work closely together. With real-time rendering, all those involved could collaborate closer and make decisions together. The day finally came for Safdie to see the renderings, to see his 50-year-old career-igniting project brought to digital life. It was an immediate reaction, I would love to live there. And that's the ultimate test. I mean, I would love to live there. And yet, at the same time, I realized, boy, was that ahead of its time. It's ahead of its time today. Unreal Engine is much more than just a tool for architects. It can open up whole new worlds and whole new ideas. That's exactly what we need now to rethink how our cities should be made. And I hope that actually making this accessible to the public at large as an image, as an idea, you could live like that, would now help advance people's desire to have this realized. We also want to encourage people to take those pieces and come up with their own ideas, come up with their own habitats, you know, play with it and, and, and have fun with it, learn from it and make your own movies, make your own still renderings, practice your craft. Both to the student of architecture and the student of life, <laughs> I hope that this presentation, the, the tools of that presentation, would allow you to take what we imagined and evolved over the years and explore it in a personal way further and imagine your own environments. This is Hillside, the recreation of the original vision for Habitat 67 in Unreal Engine, completing one of the most important building ideas of the 20th century, here to inspire and enable the next generation of architects for years to come. You can get hands-on with the model at unrealengine.com or explore more content, webinars and hear directly from Neoscape on the building of Hillside now.